Welcome everyone, this is the Travel Journal with Peter Hans Style. And today, we're heading out to Africa. So in 2019 was the first time our group had headed towards Africa. Under the Expedition Arts crew, led by Manny Carrasco and Chrissy Tipton, as a bunch of artists, we got together and wanted to explore the world, photographing, drawing, and painting. So after the international flight, our group was able to get together, get inside a small plane, and hop over to the Masai Mara. It was a short 40 minute flight, which gave us a nice view of the landscape. Having landed, we were able to settle inside our trucks, get our gear ready, and get our first taste of what Africa was able to give us. For me, a big part of the travel is to be able to expand and grow as an artist through my experiences, the many people I talk to, the things that I get to see and interact with, the foods that I get to taste, the smells I get to have. They're all things that help me become a better storyteller and also on being able to create believable worlds. The footage you're seeing here now is all in chronological order. This is literally the first day we had landed towards the Masai Mara. We were able to see many assortment of animals right from the get-go, from the herds of elephants to the prides of lions. On this first day, of course, you always expect to be able to see many different things, but always the surprise of Africa is there. From the looming dangers for the prey and the hunters, the interactions and the stories of the drama on the plains and the grasslands, life and death constantly in cyclical motion. Another interesting experience was the fluctuation of the weather. Some days being sunny, a few minutes afterwards, heavy rainfall. On this particular day, we were able to actually observe a family of cheetah, a mother and young cubs frolicking and playing, learning to be able to hunt by interacting with each other. It was amazing to see the landscape and the other animals reacting towards this. For me, this was the first time seeing young cheetah in the wild. Their personalities shone through. It was interesting to see how they were interacting with each other, showing dominance. The mother was always very attentive. And in this first day, it seemed like she actually was also very focused on hunting. The previous year, we saw several chases and hunts, but none that were actually very successful. So for us to actually come across this on the first day was extremely exciting. She was able to chase down a young Apollo, but in the midst of it, she did lose the place of her young cubs. In the distance, a male lion appeared out of nowhere. He made her with his way down towards the same location and actually started to pursue the young cubs. The mother, off at a distance, chirped and actually called for the young cubs. Not having any response, she actually gave up her kill and proceeded to make her way back towards the young. The actual male didn't appear to know that the hunt actually even took place. And that happened to be our first experience, just landing about an hour into Africa. Of course, another great thing about traveling is being able to go together with people you really enjoy traveling with. The Expedition Arts crew is a community of artists that have come together because not only do we enjoy the natural aspects of the world, but also on being able to create. All of us being artists in some ways, whether being draftsmen, painters, photographers, animators, uh, we all have a same love towards nature and that really does bring us together and a community of artists is something you cannot forego For people that are, that are growing up, you know being young you know, The educational system is what really introduces you to a certain community of artists Beyond that though connecting with you know people that are varying degrees of uh, different types of artists is what also expands your understanding This footage is now of our second day following the same cheetah family the young cubs settling in, but the mother still focused towards the horizon looking for new prey. And on this day, she showed us again the power and the speed of the cheetah.
as difficult as scenes like this can be, our understanding that as one thing is taken, it is giving life to another. Our appreciation for nature continues to rise and the respect for them, the animals is hardened. This constant give and take was all around us. Here another example of a grounded hornbill picking snakes out of a tree. There was a whole troop of them walking around looking for snakes. Looking like little dinosaurs hunting. Another opportunity that we always took advantage of was our ability to record the scene. In many chances, we got to sit for a good 20, 30 minutes at times, observing animals that were dozing, eating, interacting with each other, and being able to sketch live in person. I myself was using many times just straight pen, using sketchbooks like the uh, Strathmore brown tone papers. Uh, other artists like Aaron, Manu, Amber, everyone was also drawing as well too. And we'd be hanging out and just interacting, talking with each other as well as we were watching the animals. We were never really that far away from the animals also, probably sometimes at a good 30, 40 feet. In these situations, of course, the question I always get is about being able to draw in person of moving animals, moving subjects also. And it can be one of the more difficult things. It requires a quick hand, fast decision making, and a good knowledge of experience of the animals prior. And of course, students will ask about what well, then should I understand anatomy of animals, specific details of this type of thing before I even draw an attempt live. And I wouldn't say so. I think having a good understanding of proportion, shape, language, form is a crucial aspect. And from there, details can be picked up on through your own observations in person. Now, of course, it never really isn't about trying to capture a single moment in the scene. But for me, it's more of a passage of time. In that moment of when we're sitting together, 30 minutes in sessions, we're able to collect an assortment of poses, actions, movements, sometimes simple, sometimes more complex but more of a relaxed state on being able to just absorb as much as we can. After each night, we were able to always come together in the evenings at the camp and chat amongst ourselves having dinner and drinks, talking about the day, what we saw, what we were able to draw and sketch. Amazingly, our hosts, Jorge and Mariola, were gracious hosts on letting us stay at their camp, which they resided at for 15 plus years. Here after this first travel journal documentation, I'm going to leave you guys with this last footage of Jorge interacting with the wild lions out there in which he's worked with for many, many number of years. I plan to do additional travel journals, so stay tuned for days three, four, five, and beyond.